Garrett's one of the one of if not the best pitchers in the league, and and Jameson's had had spurts when he's healthy, where you know he's right up there, you know, in that that top tier pitchers too. And uh, you know, Severino, if if he's able to come back healthy, uh, obviously he's got you know great stuff and has proven that he can pitch that extremely high level too. And I know that they've got some younger guys in that rotation uh, that they got a chance to pitch last year. That they feel really good about. So, you know, I think that it's, it's like any rotation any year. Um, you know, I think that you can, you can feel as good as you want about it in January, February, March, but I think it's all about that process of, of getting, you know, through a spring training and, and getting ready for the season and then hitting the ground running when you do, and then uh, staying as consistent, you know, one through five or one through six, whatever however it ends up working out without, with off days, uh, you know, throughout the course of the season as long as possible. Thanks, Corey. Yep. Take another from Bruce Beck, WNBC. Go ahead, Bruce. Hey, Corey, uh, any trepidation, any fear about coming back and starting anew with the Yankees? And, and part two of the question is, was there ever a moment you thought you fired your last pitch? No, not at all. Um, you know, I think that there's definitely some frustrating moments for me, uh, especially last summer. Um, you know, I, feel, I felt like I had, you know, from when I got hit by that comebacker to when I pitched my first game last summer, you know, I'd gone, I think it was close to 15 months without pitching a game and then you know, to only pitch one inning uh, before being injured again. Obviously, that was an you know an extremely frustrating time for me. But I don't think I ever got down on myself for it. I think that I was I was frustrated, but not um, not beating myself up about it. You know, I knew that I did everything that I could do during the pandemic to keep myself ready and stuff. It's just kind of one of those the way I look at it. it was one of those deals. It was a you know short end of the straw, bad bad break sort of thing, and. Um, you know, I just I started to attack my rehab right away and try to prepare myself for this upcoming season the best I could. And the challenge of pitching in New York, do you embrace that? Yeah, you know, I don't I don't think that it it weighed on my decision one way or the other. Um, you know, I don't. No offense, but I don't pay too much attention to what uh what media says or doesn't say about me anyway. So I don't think that um, you know, that'll have much to do with it. I do think that obviously the Yankees are a historic franchise and they have a, a great fan base and a, and a big following. So I think that'll be something hopefully over the course of summer, something fun to be a part of, you know, when fans are coming back in the stadium and stuff. 